starting of Kanan number two polar. It starts at Kubs Dam and ends at Conservancy Dam. Now it needs to be a rice factory here on the right side. As we keep going down here is a Machu's ear as we call it. Um, some he used to have a cricket team here by the name of um, Middlesex. They actually had a ground and some of the guys that used to play there like Munir, the Calico Sons. Um, those are a few guys I remember at this top of my head. Jamal, Surab and others. They had a pretty good team and eventually that team is no more. In the 1970s, the late 70s, cricket was at its glory in Canal. There were many teams, four teams. <coughs> Middlesex, cultural, young cricketers, and evergreen. They even had one team at the Conservancy Dam too. Now as we are coming up here to the left side, you're going to see the first bridge in Canal number 2 Polar. And it's really known as Field Bridge. This is where the sugar workers cross to go into the fields when they have to work in that area. It actually was a stop when the Wales Estate sugar truck that came in to pick up the workers here. Uh, we go in there here on the other side there's no houses at the moment but on the right side there's houses we are coming up here to teach a Ganesh there's a man there on the side here he used to be living on that side and some of these houses are very familiar to me he also had some old um, bar who used to live here a fat fine the lady the color and then it coming up here to Rama area and Bar really. This canal was very well populated in the 70s. It was like the peak of this population boom. People were very industrious, hard working. There were a lot of farms well planted and stocked all over canal. There was cane farming, coffee, lots of fruits, pineapples. And any citrus you could think of could be found here. But the population has been dwindling with the opening of this new area here, Bell West. It has actually drained the population from Canal number two polar proper. Because most of the young people actually took up house lots in that area. So with a dwindling population there are not so many people living in the houses like before. Also, a lot of emigration to the United States and Canada and other parts of the world has depleted the population here. And as you can see, we also have a, a, a gas station here on the right side of the come up. We just passed like Kiarjan used to live area and Russian house. It's been living in that area, Bowtie and others. Uh, so Peter Lumis Ram. Now this, this is Claybrick Road, the bridge that leads used to live going to the Claybrick factory here. And that was built by the Chinese the factory. But it's not functioning anymore. All those have been abandoned. And as we come up here on the road you can see in that time when it came the road was very bad and many potholes inside. On the right side you'll be you're having a dam called Cameron Dam that could lead you to canal number one. As I said the population has been dwindling over the years and the young people have moved out. Now this is Endeavor Common Secondary School. It used to be uh, primary school school and secondary but now it's basically only secondary because of the population decline the children from Kewal government school the secondary department 
they send their children here, those who didn't qualify for the place you wrote the, the exam for the secondary school the exam and you didn't pass, you end up in that school. So there are many changes here over the years, but it is not too positive, I would say. The only positive thing is that there are many, many new houses here. But as I said, with the opening of that clip at um, Bell West, it has really drained the population here. It, and in many, many houses, there are not many, many people living like before. Also, nowadays, people do not make a lot of children as before. Before time, the household was average. People had like four or five children, up to 10 and 11 and things like that. But because of that, now we're coming up to the cemetery here, Canal Number 2 Cemetery, which is the official cemetery. We have three sections there for the Hindus, Christians, and Muslims. Now, many ancestors are buried in there. My own grandfather and grandmother, uncles, aunts are in there. So, that place has a lot of history there, the cemetery. Now, coming up here, you see, like, we have Naba on the left side. He has a very nice business going on. You can find all your house materials there, building materials, like sand. Before that, you had to go all the way to Georgetown to buy those things. Now you could just go right in Canal and buy it. So there's a big difference in saving time. You could just go to him. Now if you come into this area here, you at Banga you used to live. And you pass him on Rajab and things like that. Some of the names I know offhand. And we are coming up here to Black Beach areas. We just passed it. And this is the top side masjid. It used to be run by Yusuf Majid, Masjid. Yusuf Meiji actually. And long ago people used to come from bottom side to this mosque. But eventually they built their own mosque in the bottom side and, and stuff. I myself came there as a small boy going on. We had to walk all the way from bottom side to here. Now we've been passing like Titi Jahur on the right side here. And as we're coming up on the other side, it used to be Teacher Gulshan and Azrin used to be living there. And the NDC building is there. And coming up on the left side is the church and the famous Kewal, which is a primary school now. It used to be Popecha Kewal Memorial and Indian Mission School. Then became Kewal Primary School. Now it just deals with elementary children up to grade six. And used to have a dispensary on the left side there. And also Man Mahal used to live on that side. Like when we small, children never used to be able to eat in the school. They, they had to go somewhere else to eat. So we used to go by Man Mahal yard to eat. or we stand up by the tent on the side three. We just passed through a mile area and key model. Now this area it has many familiar people that I know actually. Well not be able to mention all of them. Then you have Edna Rex. Had a very good shop there. And as you're coming up further here, you're passing Dan Ryan on the left side. Teacher Govin. That's Timal Dikron somewhere on the right side here. Tana. And others. And also, we're coming up to Cultural Cookie Ground. But now it is called Multicultural Sports Club, so I don't know. I'm kind of confused. Really. It's a change of name here, but it used to be cultural cricket ground. Many, many famous cricketers and canal used to play there. Was one of the top teams in its time. And on that left side is the Matcha, the bottom side Matcha. It's very famous. Many people used to go there. They sing the on Sundays if they fill with a lot of people. And that house across the street used to be a famous teacher 
I just call her Maka Hing, Mrs. Hing. But she was brutally murdered some time back after serving all her years as a teacher. And coming up ahead is the Bakasai Masjid. Now many people from here go to this Masjid. There's a duty shop somewhere around here on the right. And he soon used to live on the other side, Bodia, care about you somewhere. But not that house. Then coming past a masjid is the Habib family on the right side. And the original guy that owned that all of that one is Nabi Jana. And across here had Chuka. We used to have our lunch boats. They used to travel to Georgetown. We also had a lunch boat carrying people to the border to work. They used to work a border bag, as they call it. Many, many ladies used to work in the weeding gang there. And they used to go to the conservancy to catch that boat. That basically is the Ithaca estate. Now this part of the film didn't come out too good, so it was too bright that day when I did this part. So they also have Tonka shop, famous shop in the old days, and Jairam shop also. Then on you also have George on the left side and Mr. Kausila Cyril. Oh, this is some kids who came from America walking down to the Conservancy Dam. And that's one of the kids pushing a the bar there. And this is a view from the end of the Sabi Dam. A place that many of us... Now you could also take a boat tour here if you want to go visit like different areas. Across there is the Conservancy and that's front line. Now, this is a very beautiful place to take a swim and to have fun actually. The water is sweet. Canal number two polar, a place of untold wonder. Many have gone far over yonder to new lands to discover. For the heart still lingers for the place of thy mother. Memories go longer and longer. For the place we were once together. Indeed, it did give us comfort and shelter. This place forever will be here, whether we are there or over yonder. <laughs>